Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God. Five minutes in the Word of God. Five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalm 119, verse 34 today. The writer says, Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. Yea, I shall observe it with my whole heart. He reads God's word with a view towards obeying it. And that is how we gain understanding of the word of God. The Bible clearly teaches that if anyone is willing to do the word of God, they will understand it. The Bible says, be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. So read to learn and learn in order to obey. Otherwise, not only will you lack discernment as to its meaning, but the whole thing will be pointless. 35. Make me to go in the path of thy commandments, for therein do I delight. We need God to learn, and we need God to obey as well, which is why he prays, make me to go in the paths of thy commandments. Make me do it, God. Can't do it without you, is what he is saying. The only thing that you and I can offer God is a willing heart. If we give him that, he will work in our lives to bring about obedience. But we must offer God a willing heart. Obedience may not come easy. God may have to prune us in the process to make us more and more obedient. But if we persevere, we will see an increasing amount of good spiritual fruit in our lives. 36. Incline mine heart unto thy testimonies and not to covetousness. In other words, make me love your word more than anything else in this whole world. Don't let me love things. Help me to love your word more than things, more than anyone or anything. If we don't love the Bible more than anything else, then other things are going to keep us from reading it because we'll love those other things more than the Word of God. Other things will keep us from reading the Word of God and other things will keep us from obeying it too. Our, our supreme love has to be for Jesus Christ and along with that, His Holy Word because they go hand in hand. 37. Turn away mine eyes from beholding vanity and revive thou me in thy way. With the amount of distractions in the world today, it is easy to get sidetracked and spend too much time beholding vanity or doing worthless things or thinking about worthless things. There are all sorts of worthless, worthless things in the world today that we are bombarded with. Worthless entertainment, worthless ways of amusement games, just so much worthlessness. We wouldn't sit in our car for three hours with the engine idling, would we? That would be a big waste because we wouldn't be going anywhere. It would be a vain thing to sit in your car for three hours for no reason at all and just let the engine idle. You're not going anywhere. You're not accomplishing anything. And God doesn't want us to put our lives in idle either by doing worthless things because that's a waste of our God-given time. Study the whole Bible with me. That's never a waste of time at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen from four complete series going through the entire Bible verse by verse. 
To be a part of this ministry, pray for me and God's Word, and click the donate button at the top of the front page at thebibleversebyverse.com, and perfectly give as the Lord may lead. See you next time on Coffee Break. <music>